Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Shanmit. In this session, we will learn about physical file or PF. So PF or physical file is a database file which is used to store the data. Uh, let me give you one example. Here I have created one physical file for storing the employees data. So this is the uh, PF which is storing four employees record and there are three columns in this PF that is employee ID, employee name and city. So now we will create uh, one more uh, PF for getting the better understanding of the PF. To create the PF, we have to press F6 in the work member PDM. Now we have to specify three fields that is source member, source type and text description. So source member is just uh, we have to give name to the PF. Suppose we have student PF so we will name it as STU underscore pf okay. now we have to specify its type so as we are going to create physical file so we will specify it as type as pf the third field is text description this field is not required but to have a better understanding or to memorize the pf uh, we will give one description here so let me give it as this is my first pf after filling all three requirements, we will press enter here. Now this is the DDS for our PF file. Now press enter and to go in input mode, we will press I here. First of all, we have to give a record format name here. For creating a record format name, we will press F4. Now specify R because we are creating a record format in the name type and give the record format name here. So we have pf stu underscore pf just to uh, differentiate the pf name and record format name we put here r we can put any name but it would be better if we uh, put r at the last so that we can easily memorize that it is our record format name now just press enter now just uh, we have uh, as we have three fields here, we will create three more fields for student table. So let me add the fields by pressing I here and enter. Now we will press F4. So we will give student ID, stu underscore ID. Now here we have to specify the length of that VF to length. Uh, suppose we have five we require five length here we can check the data type by pressing f1 at the end so this is we can this is the data type which we can use in our pf there are different types of data type so for id we are using s that is zone decimal so s now we have to put the decimal position suppose we have uh, ID that is or we have we can say that we have number 25.2 so that is the decimal position how much number we require for after decimal but in our case we are using uh, as uh, do, s type just for storing the student ID so they, we don't need any decimal position so we just put zero here remember one thing we have to specify the length and uh, numeric fields from the right side here we can uh, we will use one function that is call heading that is column heading column heading is mainly used uh, to display the full description of the field in the table so let me explain you like uh, if we want to display student id complete name in the table then we use uh, call heading for that after pulling all the details we press enter so student id is created now we add some more fields like student name we can simply press here f4 stu name length we will give it uh, 25 type for type we can check with the help of f1 so these are the types uh, for storing the name we will use alphanumeric that is a which indicate the character data so just put here a we don't require a decimal position because we are using 
8 data type now we will specify the column heading name here call column heading call it D. that is student name after that we will more add some more fields like student number or we can say that city so city then we press f4 here we are getting that indicator because uh, we have not filled the length of it so just uh, after pressing f4 we will specify the length that is the city we are going to have 25 a data type that is alphanumeric and function is call heading that is city So we have uh, added three fields in this pf and specify the name for record format now we have to specify one key key is mainly used for fetching the record as per our requirement like if you want to find out the data of some student then we need uh, one key like uh, student id so that whenever we uh, find some uh, student detail with uh, with the help of that id so for specifying the key we will press f4 and here in the name type we specify one keyword that is k and now we have to select uh, any one field which we want to make a key field so in our case we will make student id as a key that is stu underscore id now key is created so we have finally designed our pf that is uh, that contains one record format name three fields and one key that is student id now to save this file we can write one command save or we can directly save and exit with the help of file command so after pressing file now we have created that pf that is here stu pf just to compile this pf we will press 14 uh, write 14 and press enter so uh, the file stu pf is created in our library to check it we will run one query that is run query library name that is amit2 and pf name that is stu underscore pf so this is our new pf which contains three fields student id student name and city so what uh, column heading did is that we can easily get the full description of the column not the field name just that's why we use a column heading there now we will learn how we can insert some data in that view for inserting data we will use one command that is upd dta now press uh, type the library name in my case my library is amit2 so i will simply write amit2 and pf name that is stu underscore pf after press pressing enter we can uh, file get this field where we can easily insert the data as per our requirement so for first uh, id where uh, we give 01 id name is rohan sharma city jaipur after enter then add some more data like rakesh kumar city jodhpur Or we can give it uh, as a third Rohit Gupta Mumbai. So we have specified that name. After updating all the records, we will press F3 here. After pressing F3, we it will ask us uh, that. Uh, should we want to end the data entry so press yes by specifying y and press enter now the data is updated in that pf to check that data we will run again that query that is for run query library name that is amit2 and pf name is yeah, uh, student stu underscore pf so here we can check that easily that we have stored three data for student pf that is student id student name city and these are the three records which we have inserted with the help of 
TOPDDTA command. So we can, uh, yes, we can uh, use one SQL as well for uh, implementing that PF. Like uh, if we want to use SQL command for inserting data and for modifying that PF, we can easily do with the help of str SQL command. str SQL. After that, we press enter. Here we can uh, use the SQL command for operating that PF uh, as we are uh, as we use in SQL. So S E L E C select star from library name stu underscore pf enter and we can find that we have three records in that pf that is student id student name city uh, these are the fields and these are the records so today we will learn about that how we can insert the data or we can create the pf file in the next video we will learn about how we can read the pf data with the help of rpg elite program till that thank you have a nice day